Hello, welcome to another episode of Home Cooking with Susan Zhang. Today we have a very special guest, Vivian Harajanto. The dish we're making today is something that she serves at her restaurant, Mano Cafe, in Hong Kong. Vivian? Oh, thanks, Susan. I'm really happy to be here today. Good. I call it Balinese fish tacos, but they are not really, you know, you won't find Balinese fish tacos in Bali. Um, I call it that because all the flavors that we use in the sauce, really, um, for me, it just tastes like Bali. For the ingredients you will need, lemongrass, some shallots, peeled, some garlic, peeled, finger chili, bird's eye chili, some kefir lime leaves, some coriander, some freshly squeezed lime juice, some runny honey, some fish sauce, white wine vinegar, canola oil. For the filling, you'll need a fillet of white fish. Uh, this is a barmundi. And for the garnish, you'll need some shallots or red onions, uh, some tomatoes, and then also coriander, more lime, and some lettuce leaves, and QP mayo. And uh, also some corn tortilla, preferably. So Vivian, what are you doing with the lemongrass? But you can actually only use pretty much this part of the mm. lemongrass. Um, and I will slice up all the ingredients, um, you know, slightly just to help our machine along a little bit. So just like this. We have uh, also over here some kefir lime leaves. Mm. And depending if the, um, what do you call this? Like the, the middle, the stem, the stem the, the, is, the inner. yes, if it's very fibrous, then you need to remove it. In this case, I mean, it's okay, but we'll remove it anyways. Let's see what else. And the coriander, you know, it should bend, blend fine. Just kind of chuck everything in there. Oops. And uh, we're going to use some oil. So you want to use canola oil because it has quite a neutral flavor. Mm. Now we can start to season the dressing with um, the vinegar, the white wine vinegar. And then some honey, to kind of make it more round with the sweetness. So a runny one. And fish sauce. So this is almost, um, you're almost seasoning to taste with this one, right? Depending on how mm. um, spicy you want it, yeah, how or salty sweet you, want you want it, it to be, mm. right? You have full control. But it does need to be well seasoned, you know? Mm. It's a sauce, right? It's a dressing. And then some lime juice, freshly squeezed lime juice. And then we'll give this another whiz, just to blend everything together. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I am drying the fish, um, basically getting rid of all of the moisture. And this will really help when you fry it. It will basically keep it from sticking to your pan. So I'm going to season my fish with some, some salt, some pepper on both sides. And um, so you can see that it's smoking up mm. pretty well. So I know that my oil is at its highest temperature. So now I'm gonna add the fish in. Skin side down. Oh, right, and just let it cook undisturbed for a minute. Mm. So now at the, while we're waiting for the fish uh, to finish cooking through, um, I'm going to heat up another pan over here for the tortilla. Because mm. um, you do need to warm them up. So you'll need just a small amount of oil in your pan. I can smell like the fish is getting quite crisped up. And you see that? So it's yes. uh, almost cooked all the way through. So now I flip it over. So we have some nice color going on. And you can see it's kind of crispy right at the top. It's good. 
So Vivian, do you want me to cook a turkey? Yes, please. Okay, I'll continue to look after the fish. Make some room here on the cutting board. So Vivian, tell us about the filling. Yeah, so we're ready to assemble our tacos now, right? So we have the cooked fish, the barmandi, and then we, I have here some sliced shallots, some tomatoes, and then uh, some lime. And then of course we have our beautiful dressing and also some Kewpie mayonnaise. So I'm going to um, cut the fish into smaller pieces. So I put a couple of fish in there. Thank you for watching for the South China Morning Post. I'm Susan Zhang. And I'm Vivian Harijanto.